Hello. So. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's Universe Sandbox again. Haven't made a video on this just in a while. Uh, I was I was looking at tattooing, and it's got two sons, right? And I was like, that's pretty cool. Let's do it on here. So today, it's going to be a tutorial on how to do a binary star system, uh, which is just a solar system with two stars in it. All right, so there's two different types of binary star systems there's the s type and the p type so the p type is where you have two stars in the center orbiting each other with the planets going around it and the s type is two stars orbiting far away with planets around each star so i'm going to show you how to make both of those we're going to start with the p type so to start you just make a make a new empty simulation come in here to add and then you're gonna add your first star, which it can be any star. I'll just do random main sequence, but you can use any star. All right, so we have our first star. You're gonna zoom out a little bit, and then you're gonna add a second star. But make sure over here on the right, it's clicked on binary, and this balance motion is turned on. That's very important, make sure that's on. And then you're gonna want it between a distance of half an AU. That's like the closest it'll be stable and sometimes it's not stable if the stars are too big but anywhere from there to around six so I'll just put it two seems fine all right so then you have two stars and then hold control on your keyboard and this little square will come up and you click on both the stars and that'll select both of them and then you can click this tab here and this menu will come up and if you click create bearer center then it'll show the point where the stars are orbiting around so if you speed up time, can show this. So both the stars are orbiting around this center. So that just helps when we start putting planets down to know the real center of the system. So now that you've done that, we can start adding the planets. So come in here to add, and then you can use any planet, but I'll just do random rocky. Make sure this is still on binary. It won't work if you do orbit. Do binary and turn balance motion off. What balance motion does is it tries to make them orbit around each other, but you can't really have a planet and a star orbiting around each other. So turn that off. And then you're going to want to put this at least three times what the distance between the stars is. So that, that, that should work. What's that? 30? Yeah. So the orbit will like go crazy for a second, but then it should start to orbit pretty stably around it yeah and just make sure it's stable yeah it looks stable the stars are moving all right and then that's now you can just pretty much add and whatever else you want more planets you can add curved planets you can do whatever all right so that is a p-type system and a note with this one, it is really hard to get a habitable planet in there. Um, you would need massive stars, and then you would have to put a planet close, and I haven't even been able to do it, but I think it's possible. But with the S-type orbits, um, where the stars are really far away, you can do habitable planets pretty easily, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, to do the S-type orbits, where the stars are further apart and planets around each one, you're going to start the same way, putting a star down and then making sure it's on binary with balance motion on and p this time instead of putting it like 1 AU we're gonna put it like at least 100 230 that that works you can do anywhere from 100 to like a thousand and that'll they'll all work so yeah after you place your two stars you don't need to create the bearer center but I will just to show you so that would be where the orbit is so if you speed up time that's how the orbit a little bit around that spot like that all right once you have your two stars that are orbiting you can start to put planets around both the stars so we can just go to this one and then you go come into add go to planets and you can do any planet whatever you want you can treat each star like its own system 
And if you want, you could create habitable planets. This one's easy to do that because it's like its own system. You can just throw planets in here. Oh, make sure that this you can put back on orbit because it's orbiting only one star. So you can just throw planets in here. Those are big fast. And yeah, so then once you've done that for one star, you come to the other star and do it. Throw some planets in there. Yes, yeah, so you can be pretty creative, make your own little system. And then you look off into the distance and you see the other star. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or anything else you want me to make a tutorial on, just leave it in the comments. And goodbye.